go, going into just getting jumping right in here. <clears throat> oh boy. So what was the uh how do you get to like orders again? Days of War 3. Submarine tonnage. <clears throat> about to find out what the hell this is. Uh, let's see. So what's the difference between closed two and all hands man battle stations? Well, I guess closed two is just a setting, duh. I don't have many weapons. I don't know if this is smart, but we'll do it. Our speed is 10 knots. More of this bottom limited stuff. Yeah, eight torpedoes, four missiles. Got some moss that could potentially come in handy. And I guess I can like reload tubes here potentially. I kind of want these all on active. Yeah, I can reload those up before I get to the fight. That's fun. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, my speed's a little too fast to try and get a little closer, so I'm just gonna do it from here. And the moss in the tube. I might try and employ that, but yeah, let's do it. Ugh, here we go. Slow the hell down. Okay. Sierra 1, Sierra 2. We're approaching these guys from a different direction this time. Yeah, they kind of turned south, and we're kind of heading this way. Let's kind of right full rudder here and come about. Come, ooh, a little closer there. That is potentially rather close aboard. We will see. I think I want to get to PD. I don't know if I need that much rise in the planes. We'll get the PD and check things out as well as turning. See what we got going on with these dudes. <clears throat> now, does the, does the propeller really turn that slow at five knots? I have no idea. I don't know. The concept of whatever TPK was supposed to mean in dangerous waters always confused me. I never understood what it meant. Turns per knot. I mean, is it like one complete revolution per knot? Is that what that means? Or is it like one propeller blade passing by a certain point? Like, is that a turn or something? I don't know. How's our depth looking? Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, it's kind of accelerating. Let's go ahead and level everything out at 100 feet. And eh, maybe a little, a little, a little more. 80 feet. Yeah, let's do it. I want you to keep the rudder, though. Keep that rudder. Hey, belay that order, Captain. Okay, we're coming up a little, a little more than I like. So we'll do that. I think that'll be good. We probably, probably need to do a little bit more, honestly. But we'll go with this for now. See what happens. But we may level off right at the sweet spot there. No, I don't think we have enough juice to get there. Let's just use a little ballast to get up there. Use a little ballast. And right there, stop. Okay. Raise that scope real quick. Let's get a look, see. Bearing on 108. I don't see anything. They could be potentially a lot further away. Uh, strong signal strength, though, so I'm going to lower this. Uh, but did not see a thing. Not one thing. Let's, uh, okay, we're we're good here. Let's, uh, let's get a little deeper again. Maybe not full dive, but 20 degree down bubble. That is interesting. Did not see a thing. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can classify something here. And I definitely, I guess I was feeling a little tired yesterday, but I was amped up on adrenaline. 
so hard because of cold waters. But today I'm definitely not tired. Cresta's pretty close. Savramini. Oh, another canyon. Boop, market. <clears throat> These guys are pretty close aboard. We're getting some pretty strong signal strength on them here. And Chilikan AOR. Oh, this might be the thing that I was actually really going for at some point. Let's go ahead and level everything out here. How's that canyon looking? Solution 56% range. Decently close. I'm surprised I didn't see. I mean, it's possible that range is not correct. <laughs> Quite possible. Very much so. So we've come about completely. New contacts here are three. Speed six knots on the canyon. And we're kind of heading with him at this point, so we're not getting bearing rates on him. Or at least, yeah, we're pretty much holding constant bearing on that guy, just about. Contact Sierra 3. Let's go ahead and see what we got over here. I like that this is in here, at least. You can, like, speed up classification. That's fun. Something to do. Oh, let's see. I always want to do it so, like, haphazardly. It's like, just keep going, dude. It'll line up. Another canyon. Okay. I have a feeling that Chalikin might be right in the middle of them. 65% though. Over that way. 64% here. Speed 8 knots. What about the uh, conditions? Yeah, it looks like... Okay, so we got some pretty deep waters here. If I'm not at periscope depth, I should pro probably be beneath mad t detection depth there. It's probably a good good idea. Hey Anthrax, unfortunately, there is no multiplayer available right now, but it may come in the future. If Julhelm is here, he can chime in as well. He is the lead artist on uh, lead artist guy on on, on Cold Waters. <clears throat> oh, that son of a bitch lost his Silex as he was going down. Well, good on him, man. A for effort, at least. Ooh, I just heard that ping. Let us get down there. Get beneath mad detection depth. Are there any planes? There are currently no planes flying about. That is good. Let's go ahead and level out. Hello, Stortonga. Is that a freaking like, Sour Patch kid? <laughs> First they're sour, then they're sweet. Dude, are you foreshadowing something? I don't like that, man. Do not like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ambient noise is 84 decibel. That's, wow, that's pretty loud. 84 decibel. How's this solution looking? I really gotta, like, turn around. To, well, I, I don't have to, let's head, let's head, yeah, let's head about 080 here. And, uh, try and increase our bearing rate that way. Kind of try and slink in behind them a little bit. We're just about losing the tactical advantage here. They are in front of us, but they're still within firing range. So let's come, come left here. Come left to course zero eight zero. How am I? <laughs> Ooh, we have a high solution on Canyon. Very well. Got ourselves a high solution. We may want to launch on that dude then. Yeah, he can't hear me for shit. He's not close enough to hear me very well. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm picking him up on the hull passive as well as the toad. That's good. Yeah, because he's now in my toad baffles. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. That's what I'm here for anyway, isn't it? The comments and the quotes. The random engineering and then the Ace Ventura quotes or something like that. <clears throat> How are these other solutions looking? Pretty strong, pretty strong. This one's hauling ass. Hauling ace. Can't see him though. Canyon. This is a very interesting setup. And not one that I'm expecting to be quite as challenging with that Oodaloy last time, man. That guy was on my butt. He was on my butt hard. Okay. 
Well, I think we could probably go ahead and launch on this dude at this point, I think. And then maybe increase speed a little bit. Because I don't know if I, I don't think any of these guys are going to hear me even at two-thirds. Let's go ahead and get a, way, a weapon out. Let's go ahead for that. And let's... What tube am I on? I want this to go shallow, so hang on a second. How do I belay this order? Escape? There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Okay, well, that's an interesting bug. Once you come off of that, it needs a little time to adjust. So I wanted to snake straight, or snake, and then go shallow. So there you go. So do that. Fire. Los! Alright, let's increase speed to two thirds here. Kind of moving behind him. And let's uh, increase depth a little bit. Because they're probably going to get helos out here soon. Well, they don't have mad, but you know what I'm saying. Better safe than sorry. And I don't know if there's any way to uh, adjust, like, run depths. Or, like, not run deaths, but run speeds. Have torpedoes run a little slower, perhaps? I don't think there's any way to adjust that. Alrighty. Let us cruise along at two-thirds here. This guy is decently far away. Out of weapons range. Getting... P oh, man. My left ear just went deaf for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> it, like, coincided with a ping, so I got really scared for a second. I was like, what the hell is going on? Okay, but we're good. Did I lose the wire on this dude? No, I don't think I did. Or did I? I didn't see it. Maybe I did lose the wire. I think I did lose... Or... No, I don't think I did. I can't tell. No, I did lose the wire. Okay. Eee! <laughs> oh, I just had a vision of, of Ace Ventura, Speak of the Devil, acting like a dolphin. But this guy does not seem to notice the torpedo, so I think my solution will be fine on this guy, on this torp here. But I guess this can go ahead and be reloaded. Let's go, go on to the next tube here. It's all surface contacts. There's po there could potentially be a sub out here of some kind. Okay, we have this guy now, Canyon. Hey, Revan. How's it kicking? Wow, he is freaking hauling, dude. He's going 34 knots. God. God diddly damn. He is moving. Oh, that's always good. Get out of the lab early. Always fun time. Oh, there's his friend going fast as hell. Tube one loaded. Very well. Elephant man. Good to go. Okay, well at this point, yeah, I'm losing tactics. So let's come right a little bit. Last lab of the year. Let's come right... Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I am back. Sorry about that, but one of my friends is having a, uh, some personal issues, so I was uh, on the phone with him just then, but we're good now. So where were we? Okay, this Torp is heading for this, this son of a gun right here. His friends, oh, they seem to be somewhat privy to it. Kind of changing course, but they're all kind of. Oh my god. Oh, this Chilikan. Oh, it seems much closer. Oh, hello. Oh, if it's right there, dude. Yeah, give it to me. That's a juicy. That's a juicy empanada right there. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, man, do that. And let's uh, come right a little bit. I want to try and keep that torpedo. Keep that wire from snapping here. Keep that wire from snapping. Ooh, has this bad boy gone active? This bad boy seems to have gone active. Oh, what the hell? Uh, this is very much possible that this guy's right here. Holy shit. Uh, that was loud. Um, slow down. That is very much possible that this guy's right here. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. Whoa, pow. What? What? I am so... What? I'm so... Con that torpedo was over here. Dude, I'm really confused. What the hell just happened? Um, I'm so glad that was on footage. Jewel Helm, are you here? 
I just saw a very weird potential bug. That was did I, did you guys see that? That was weird. Did I miss something? That didn't seem right. That seemed very weird. Um, I got him, but it seemed definitely way too close in. <clears throat> uh, what happened is that, okay, so this canyon was over here, by the denoted by the history line, and then the TMA redid the position to up here, but then the torpedo that I shot at this canyon that was around here went ahead and hit this canyon that was up here. That was very weird. So the torpedo seemed to like, unless, well, okay, so to be fair, the torpedo was no longer wire guided, so it's possible it may have ended around to follow the cannon, but that seemed weird. There were two cannons, but the thing is the torpedo was past this cannon already. It was out here when it happened, and all of a sudden it came back and like hit this thing. But again, granted, the wire was snapped, so I'm not sure if I would be able to see what the torpedo was doing if the wire snapped, but it definitely seemed weird. No, I launched it with Snake Search. <clears throat> this is my torpedo, but this is the second torpedo that I fired at the, Ch at the Chaligan, the Baris Chaligan. Yeah, that... Oh, am I turning? Oh, damn it. I snapped my torpedo. I kept turning. Um, yeah, that's a possibility, but... The torp did seem like it was further out here. I'd have to look at the footage, because I wasn't paying the closest attention, but it did not seem right. Just out of my intuition, what happened there. Let's go speed back up again. This one seems to be getting a little further away. This wire got snapped, but I think this guy will be good. Shouldn't have a problem missing this Chalikan. Let's go ahead and get to the next tube here. Yeah, I can. It's just what was happening was the TMA was obvious. It seemed like it was wrong, but then the Kanye was actually a lot closer than it, they had actually thought that it was. Okay, let's go ahead and do this out. Let's come up. Ooh, I think it just went active. I'll see it. Come on, see it. Oh, it might miss it. It might miss it. Come on, see that. See it. Yeah, okay, there you go. Got a lock. This other cannon we lost track, but there may be the only one left. I may shoot missiles at it just to have some fun with it. I want to see what that's like. Davy Jones works in mysterious ways. Hell yeah, son, I heard that. I heard that. I want to get him on ship. Let's slow down. <clears throat> oh, he is running. He's running and gunning. Torps getting ready to head right up his butt there. Right in there. Oh, yeah, right up in there. <laughs> uh. She's steaming full speed, which ain't too fast, but bless her soul, she's trying. Or bless his soul, excuse me, Soviet ships, or men. What's our depth looking like? I can, I'm glad I can keep tabs on my depth when I'm over here. Oh, ooh, shit, yeah, level that out, level that out, full, full down on the planes. Pow, right in the bum. There you go. Ooh, no, do not broach. Do not broach, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Done there. Got blown straight to Mars right on the butt. Let's raise that periscope. Thought she blew us. Bearing 105. Get me to that interchange at the 105 or the 109 something. 
There you go. Where's this other? Where did we lose this guy? 135 ish. Excuse me. Man, that guy is uh, out there somewhere. Signal strength 8 on the ESM. I don't see anything around to give me signal strength 8 on the ESM there. Okay. Duly noted. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's get down. Full, full dive. 30 degree down bubble. Give me that flooded ballast tank. Get lost in the haze, eh? We'll sneak around at two thirds, try and catch up to this dude. Getting ourselves a crazy down angle here. So at one point in time, I had thought that you would not need to keep a down angle on the planes to maintain a dive, but I don't think that's correct. I think you do need to maintain a down angle on the planes because uh, the center of buoyancy in a submarine is above the center of lift, so it has a writing motion. Or it applies a writing, a writing torque to the bow, so it always wants to correct roll and pitch and everything like that. So you would have to maintain down angle on the planes there. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Two thirds. All right, let's level the planes out here, about 500 feet or so, and we will. Proceed looking for this dude. <clears throat> Should be able to still have some some acuity on our sensors here. Let's just go ahead and speed up time. I think if you do it on here, it does it less laggily. I don't know. Sometimes it speeds up laggily. Sometimes it doesn't speed up laggily. The game is good. I enjoy it thoroughly. It is definitely very fun. My fights so far have been rather easy. So I'm looking forward to a much more involved lengthier fight. The last fight was pretty long, but overall it was what, two ships? End of November. And this one is pretty much two somewhat outdated destroyers or frigates protecting a cargo ship. I'm sure insertions are quite hard. That seems like that could be quite a fun mission. All right, let's uh, get a little rudder here. Turn a little bit, give ourselves a little zig to a zag. Yeah, it's lagging out on the on the speed up screen. That is interesting. The history bubbles disappear after a while. I guess that's probably good. Could get really cluttered. What do we got? Might be worth popping up to take a peek. I mean, if I was this guy, I would just get the hell out of Dodge. What? Who am I looking at right now? Oh. Oh, no, this guy... Okay, so, Julehelm, I want to append my previous statement. Uh, this guy got hit in the right spot, but the, the dead ship showed up in the wrong place on the map. It showed up where the solution was instead of where the ship actually is. So right now I'm facing due south, or my heading is due south, and I'm looking at 120, and there's the there's the ship that got blown up, but it's showing the corpse, or the hulk, up here, where the solution last was. So it didn't put the dead ship where it actually is, but where the solution last was. I'm not sure if that's how you guys want that to be. No, the Chalikan is over there. That's the Chalikan. This is the Condon that I actually sunk. But for some reason, the dead platform is showing up here where the, t where the solution last was. There is nothing to the rear. It is empty. Nothing there. Just the the mark on the map from where the solution last was. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> wow, yeah, that's always a good response. <laughs> Let's actually uh, head topside here. See if we can't see anything going on up in these parts. See if our boy in topside here. Oh, now it's speeding up nice and good. A rare ambiguous contact. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, the TMA put a solution right there at the last second. And then Kerplowy. It looked like it actually was there, but it was in fact in the right spot. Or the correct spot, excuse me. Let's go ahead and level it off. Uh, slow down. I did kill him. <laughs> that is all that matters. We can debrief the after action report. Oh, hello. Yeah, reacquired. I don't know if we can see him on the scope from here, but we can try. Raise that bad boy. Betting. 115. No, 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 no. Leave that up. 115. I would like it off on the periscope that it, if it, does it output the actual bearing I'm seeing? Signal strength 9. Don't seem to be any helos aloft or any kind of aircraft, but we're getting signal strength 9 on the ESM there. Night vision? Be a night vision shist? Oh, well, that's interesting. I would have expected, like, well, I guess it is getting kind of dark out. I'm not seeing anything. It's too far. Too far, I believe. Well, it's about eight miles. I mean, it could be some, it could be the haze issue. Let's lower this. All right, let us uh, continue our pursuit. Well, we do have him, so maybe we should try and churn on him for a little bit. Let's get out of this ocean wave action stuff going on here. Shoot a harpoon. Yeah, I guess I could. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Let's come left. Line it right up down the bearing. <clears throat> Can it only load one tube at the one tube at a time? Or if there's something already in the tube, I guess it has to unload it first. Does it show that on the animation? Okay, it can only load one at a time. Okay. <laughs> load them up, load them up. Is there a... I'm assuming there's a max depth for launch, but I, I don't think I'm at that depth. I'm definitely shot. Is there a max depth for launch? Two hundred feet A. Alrighty, well we are good to go. Let's uh get these bad boys going. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh let's see. Space and we'll do I think about here is probably good. And another one. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, pop up and wave follow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. One harpoon was sufficient, and he was much closer than I thought. Very well. Nice. Okay. No, 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 no. Leave that. That's fine. Alrighty. Uh, that is everything, so let's get out of here. Sweet. <clears throat> ah, that was the mission. I think that was my mission, was to get those guys. So there you go. I need to resupply. <laughs> hey, look at that. Bronze Star. Very well. Burn, burn, burn. 
in the face of death. That was a rather easy engagement. But I'm not going to downplay my efforts. NATO warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the Norwegian Sea. Reduce naval activity. Interesting. <clears throat> Spetsnaz will land Torshavn and Faroe Islands. Good, that's on the way back to base. Naval activity. <laughs> I have no knowledge of this, but then of course I never was a sailor. <laughs> you get you just like you fish me into it, and that is fine. Status report. Got plenty of torps to take out a Ruski submarine. This will be an interesting one. Continue on course. Pharaohs. The pharaohs are down this way. Oh, is that our boat? Uh Real quick, how do I add access my orders on the on the on the map screen here? Okay, there's two Russian submarines here. <laughs> it's just gonna become the hunt for Red October here. Middle click a mouse very well. I've been watching the results of my video all day today, and it is currently at 730 views, and that is crazy. That is nuts. Well, one stat says 730 views, and then another says 1,200, so I'm not sure <laughs> which is the right one, but that's insane. That's so many views. Ugh. Your game's getting a lot of tension, Wilhelm. Middle click. Uh, top secret. Sink. Land fleet. Avoid enemy ASW patrols. Escorting submarines of the enemy submarines. I guess that's possible, but that seems silly. The Pharaohs. I'm opening up a web browser in game, but I don't think you guys can see it. The Steam overlay doesn't record for some reason, but the Pharaoh Islands. Oh yeah, okay. That's where uh, this place called uh, Tor, Shab Tor Shabin on the map is. So we'll go hang out by the pharaohs. Must have for subsim lovers? Yes. Shmanzo. But I will preface by saying this is not dangerous waters. Do not expect dangerous waters. Expect cold waters and you will not be disappointed. Ooh. Action report? I think I'm already at the Faroe Islands, basically. Um, okay. We're, we seem to be doing well in the Navy theater, but the land theater, the Russians are still doing very well, which is to be expected. They have open supply lines there. The Americans have to get supplies across the Atlantic here. All right, Joel Helm, I'll catch you later. And you're welcome, Shimanzo. Quarters. In the vicinity of Torshavn, so we will wait where we are. We will just camp right here and wait for our Russian submarine to show up. <laughs> that is what we will do. That may be them right there. That may be them. And that looks like the hull form of an, of an Akula anyway, doesn't it? Looks like in a, the whole form of an Akula to me. Does it say where I am on the order screen? In the vicinity of Torshavn, so we're in a good place. We will stick around right here. And I'm probably skewering the hell out of pronouncing that. <clears throat> I'm to make sure I'm right up in there. Or an Alpha. Eh, maybe. The Alpha has much more of a, uh, a gradual rear stern, though. Rear stern there. Uh, what is this? What are these renderings from? These guys all have like trash stashes. And that guy's a 9A91, my favorite gun. <laughs> Aftomat. Okay, these guys look like looks like the Russian submarines are out here in full force. Those ones went dis those ones disappeared over there. 
where are these dudes? Where they be? Oh, here they come. Why did you go the whole end around way? That's silly. Is that them or is that just some random patrol and they're kind of just slinking around? The mercury stashes. <laughs> I know the Akulas were not in service, but it does look like an Akula. Are these guys just trying to, like, scope it out and get a feel for the neighborhood before they buy a house or something? Like, come on. Get in here. I'm ready for a nice sub battle here. What is the rate of time passing by on this? Oh, okay. Well, it says the date up there. Hello, some F-15s. Victor 3 at an angle. Very well. One hour per second. Wow, okay. Okay, so that's not too terribly fast, but it's still pretty quick. NATO back in West Germany. Very well. Are there any... Am I like... Do I know when to expect these guys? I got it on the first... Interesting. They may be coming in now. Here we go. All hands man your battle stations. Uh, let's check out what our stores are at right now. Oh, I thought I put stuff... Well, I guess it didn't finish reloading. Uh, give me a Mark 48, Mark 48. Give me a Moss. I'm glad I checked that. Uh, very well. Let's, uh... What's our speed? 10 knots? Let's close at 25 and kill yards. Let's do it. Slow down. Okay. Oh my god, we're on the surface. Uh, get down. It doesn't really matter. But get down there, y'all. Oh, stop. Okay, we detected a Sierra 1. I see no such contact, so let's go ahead. Time lapse a little bit here. Let's kind of head this way, I think. Try and keep an eye out for these dudes. I mean, might as well try and get away from the surface clutter as much as possible here. Oh, that's lagging out. Is that a sign of things to come? I do not know. Floor's at 266 feet, and we are at 146. We got 120 beneath the keel. We can get a little deeper if we so desire. We picked up a contact, presently not seeing anything. Okay, so at this range, each of these grids means 32 kilo yards very well. Okay. Let's, uh, I think maybe even head northeast. Oh, it's raining. Good cover for them. They got some good intel on this one. Some good cover there. We will just adjust depth with ballast, I think, at this at this point. Need to keep track of that bottom, though. Okay, don't want to go too far deep. <laughs> that one's probably good right there. So there's a there's a little bit of momentum to the ballast there. There's a decent momentum to it. The Matrix games forms like Neo and Morpheus Matrix, or is that like a a, a, a studio? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Creole. Oh, sorry. I don't I don't allow the pasting of links for some reason. That's why that that looks like that. Uh. Hello, I Creole. I enjoy your food very much. I enjoy it thoroughly. All right, we got Russian submarines around here. Slytherin, like <laughs> Harry Potter, Slytherin. Uh. <clears throat> 
Alright, where are these where are these sons of guns at? Where are they at? Is it potentially a good strategy to lower someone out with a moss? Should I try that? To lower someone out with a moss. <coughs> No Nos. Nos. Nos! <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've not ever played Command Naval Modern Operations. Modern Naval Air Operations. I almost think I should go a little faster. Sea State's a little... It's a little elevated here. And I don't want to miss these dudes. I'm not seeing hide nor hair of them. Yes, they may go silent. I need to find them. So, I don't know if you're still here, Jewel Helm, but it sometimes gets a little laggy on the time speed up. I'm not sure why. Other times it's smooth. Other times it's kind of lagging out. Low FPS. Of course. Of course, that is what you want, Revan. Of course. I mean, I hope I'm... I should be on the right side of the islands, I hope. If it's all the way over there, I mean, good luck. Let's, uh... Let's head due north here. Head due north. Try and kind of just head into where they're probably going to try and drop off some seals here. Doing something to the bottom? What does that mean, doing something to the bottom? They're supposed to be supposedly coming in to drop off seals, so they're they're doing the aggression. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a possibility. Do they have like at like sub rocks? I'm assuming they do. Oh, colliding like they're derping, not trying to like bottom the boat and avoid detection or something. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and ping. Do it to it, but don't screw it, huh? <whistles> Only have set 65. Man, sending a whiskey on that kind of mission? It's crazy, but does not seem out of line. Come on, you bastards. Oh, it doesn't even say no vessels. Well, I don't, does it gonna say that if I haven't detected anyone that no vessels are nearby? I hope I'm in the right place. <laughs> uh, to be fair, they were coming from that way. Would I have to go over there? If they were coming over that way from the global map, would I have to go over to that side of the islands if I'm over here? Because that... I mean, that would make sense to me as to where they are if they're all the way over there. And I did put my thing to 25 kill yards. So one would imagine they'd be kind of in this vicinity. I may just have to fail. Failure is not an option. It's <laughs> not what I want to hear. Uh, let's go ahead and just try and make noise, try and lure these guys out or something. I don't know. I'm cavitating. I'm pinging. Do something. Get my attention. Or get your attention. I could check the surface, why not? <clears throat> Julehelm, have you thought of, like, in terms of navigating a sub, have you thought about, like, setting waypoints or something, a la torpedoes? Instead of having, like, HUD elements where you manipulate courses and, and stuff, you could set waypoints for the boat instead.
No layer. This is bottom limited. We got some good surface action. We're pretty shallow. No layer here. All right, secure from that damn pinging. It's pissing me off. <laughs> this is some Riley C state. We got at least some like C state three, C state four action going on here. Oh, this environment with the haze and everything looks fantastic. Oh no no no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! But I feel like setting a waypoint would be in line with the style of cold waters, instead of having to manually set courses and stuff. Yeah, you could, you could, or depth change could be a to steal us just from dangerous waters. But depth change could be a feature of a waypoint. <clears throat> Alright, dear. Who wants to hear it? Who do we got around these parts? Oh my god, that's a big wave. Okay. Surf's up, bruh. I wonder if whiskey submarines are advanced enough to have... Or... Not advanced enough, but did the, the, the lockout technology for special forces even exist at the time? Would it have to surface to let the special forces out? Uh, this mission seems like... A potential crapshoot here. <laughs> Raise the radar, why not? Get that ESM up there as well. Signal strength one on the ESM, now that is interesting. Signal strength one. Don't seem to be much of anything here. Uh, let's see. I am curious to get to the other side of the islands. I don't know if I could make it through there. Seems kind of sketchy. My own radar showing up? What does that mean? Oh, on the ESM? <laughs> if the ESM is picking up my own radar, that should be like off the charts. It's like right next to it. Let's uh, get down there. Start going fast. Frickin' make all the noise again. Might as well just flank it up. It's my intention anyway. If we're gonna try and get to the other side of this islands. You happy, Revan? Are you happy? I'm pinging, I'm flanking. <laughs> I'm cavitating. Ugh. Okay, that pinging has to stop. It's gonna be annoying the hell out of me. Uh, I do see boobers. I do see the boobers. I mean, I would assume they have it set up so somehow your own radar cannot set off the ESM. I would assume they have it set up that way to some extent. Not in the game, but in like real life. I mean, obviously it's that way in the game as well. I'm not going to hear anything being shot at me at this speed. I just realized that. Eh. <sighs> I may have to, yeah, I may just have to quit out of this one here. I don't know if I want to waste my time. Quote, unquote, waste my time. Spend any time on this that I don't have to. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, no, not abandon ship. Let's leave combat here. Very disappointed you must be more aggressive. Sorry to disappoint. I just had such a great mission last time I had to average it out. It was such a lackluster performance. <laughs> wow, their their ins their insertion went very elegantly, didn't it? Enemy landing ships. Where are these enemy landing ships? Oslo, Norway. Oh boy. Oslo, Norway. That's all the way over here. Can I get back to base in time to rearm? Oh, 
Nope. Doesn't want to go in that way. Okay. Come this way then. Uh, get back to base. Oh, how do I get... <laughs> how do I... Oh, here we go. Okay. Extended periods of stress. <laughs> I'll say. That first engagement was hell. Rearm and repair. I'll just actually... I'm going to bring some more harpoons still. I think that's good for the time being, though. Uh, up top there was an option uh, middle click worked as well <clears throat> oh the invasion's in like a oh no they're sailing in three days <clears throat> I still potentially have time to get there to try and prevent this invasion let's get the hell out of here and make speed we should just be able to kind of wait in this gap here just come through here and just kind of chill. Right in here. That I think that's them. It's probably them right there. No Tasm or Tlam. No Tasm or Tlam. That's got to be them. Oh, West Germany lost to get. Man, it's going back and forth. Let's try and get over here a little bit. Oi, come at me, bro. Come at me, broheim. Here we go. Ooh. Juicy, juicy bat hill. Ah, we're in perfect conditions. Perfect conditions. I need a sea wolf? Yeah. It's like six years prior to being on the drawing board at this point. <laughs> Let us go. 